Hi YouTube, this is Macy again. I just did a video on um, using G diapers and our household's love of G diapers for the past 17 months or so. Um, we've been using them since my um, son came home from the hospital and for the past pretty much year and a half we've just loved this brand. Just a few tips um, on how to keep your G diapers looking sharp and fantastic. Um, so these are the G liners. These are uh, biodegradable liners that you can actually put right over your cloth diapers um, or the G cloth, sorry, inside the diaper and keep away poopy messes. When you use this, it's easy just to put this in the toilet and flush it away if your system can handle it or take this and drop it in the garbage or however you dispose of your poopy messes. Um, this is great um, if you don't want to deal with the poop. It really, really, really does catch all of that poopy mess and gives you a great um, way to dispose of it easily. Um, it's also a great um, liner to use if you're going to be putting any cream on your baby or any lotion that you're worried will affect the absorbency of your um, G cloths. Um, this really does, it's very quite thick and um, provides that, that barrier protection against ruining your diapers. So those are G cloths. That's just something for you to kind of consider um, when you're thinking about cloth diapering, even if it isn't G diapers. These are the G cloths. Um, they come in two sizes, the small and the medium large. These, these are the smalls. Um, we use these with my son um, until he was about 12 pounds or so. Um, and then we moved on to the larger G cloth. These are fantastic. As you can see, I've been using them for over a year and no staining, no real problems. They don't fray or anything like that. So we've really, really um, enjoyed using these. I generally don't put them in the dryer. I just shake them out and hang them to dry. Um, every couple of months, I'll throw them in the dryer just to sort of burn off any excess product that's trapped inside of them, but generally speaking, just hang to dry and they're ready for use again. They're really soft and comfortable and they have a great absorbency layer on the back here. Um, so the fleece will wick the moisture away from your baby's skin and draw it into the absorbent layer that will hang on to it until you change the diaper again. One of the tips that I found was when I switched over to the larger size, I started putting these away. Um, and then I decided, hey, you know what, I can always use them as doublers. So overnight, I put back to back, um, and I just bring the smaller one up to the front, so, because I have a boy. So as he wets through the diaper, it wicks the moisture here, and it actually gives an extra few layers of, um, of hemp with the second, uh, G-cloth, and that provides the extra, um, absorbency and keeps him dry throughout the night. So we have not had a diaper change in the night in a year or more, um, which is great because it gives everybody a good night's sleep. And then the fleece on the back um, keeps the moisture from sitting on the G pouch and making it damp. So this has really, really worked well if you use two G diapers sort of back to back and um, prolongs the life that you'll get out of the small size because um, you'll be able to continue using it as a doubler overnight. And I find that it doesn't actually add any extra bulk to my son's profile overnight, um, which is great because sometimes it's hard to get them into those pajamas if the diapers are really, really thick. But that was one tip. Another tip is... These are medium-sized G diapers. As you can see, the... Um, G letters are in perfect condition and I mean it's collected a bit of fluff here in the wash but in general they've held up really really well for months and months of use and I really attribute that to making sure that these tabs are closed. Um, you want to make sure these tabs are closed at every laundry change because if you don't what starts to happen is the Velcro will damage the waistband um, and as you can see, it's really pulled at all the fibers of the waistband and made it kind of look not as pristine and not as nice. Um, 
So that's just something to really consider if you like your stuff looking really, really nice all the time. Just make sure you do that extra step and close these Velcro pieces here. While we are on the topic of the Velcro, um, as you can see, these are sort of laundry tabs. And um, when the baby is wearing the diaper, you would generally open it up and um, attach this side of the Velcro to this side of the diaper in its entirety. But what I found was where right here on the corner where the material gets a little thick on the laundry tab um, it was starting to give my son a bit of like bruising and sort of discoloration on his hip bone so if you see on your your child um, around the front of their hip bone you're starting to see maybe like little redness or cuts or bruising or something like that it could be this portion of the diaper that sits right there, um, as they're sitting down or moving around, it starts to irritate it. So to stop that, what I did was, I'll show you on a better diaper. Stop that, I actually, this Velcro is very sticky. I actually started to keep the laundry tabs closed. So it doesn't affect the um, diaper at all. You would still attach it exactly the same way that you have always attached it, but that extra thick portion is now folded backwards and your child just has this edge here which sits sort of behind them so that it's not digging into them as they're seated. Um, it's on the back of their hip and you would just use this part and stick it right on and close up your diaper. So you actually find that that damage around their hip bone goes away and it does not change the functioning or um, ability of the diaper to stay closed at all. So that's just another tip um, to keep in mind. Also, I know that it's very easy to get lazy when um, laundry day comes and this system is a three-in-one system with the outside G-pant and the PUL lining and then you're going to add on to it a G cloth inside and it's a lot to consider when you're doing laundry. Um, and I started to actually get a little lazy and not take off these snaps, not to remove the snaps. Um, I would sometimes just throw the entire um, two piece system into the wash or the entire three pieces depending on how dirty it was. Um, and I found that it will begin to relax the elastic sooner than necessary. So whereas you would get this sort of tight elastic that goes around and seals any sort of messes into your baby's diaper, if you leave the laundry tabs together, as it's sort of going through the wash and getting tangled up with other items in the wash, um, it starts to lose the elasticity a lot quicker if you leave the tabs attached. So if you really want to get the longest life out of these diapers, it's best to unsnap all four corners every time you want to do your laundry and make sure that the pieces are separated. Also this outer piece, because it's cotton, I generally throw it in with his laundry and don't put it in the wash with his um, diapers and that seems to keep them looking good and um, sort of keep its life long um, if I wash them with his clothes, his pajamas and his other clothing because it is cotton um, and it doesn't need to go through all that um, washing and rinsing and um, sort of dirty water when you're doing your dirty diaper la laundry. So those are my tips for using G diapers. Love, love, love this system. And if there's any questions or anything else that you'd like to see, definitely reply below in the comments and subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every week on different mommy and baby needs and all those beautiful products that are out there for the first years of your child's life. Thanks for watching YouTube. Have a good afternoon. Bye.